so with the conclusion of another horror theater presentation we sign off until tomorrow good night You know, that's the fourth time we've seen that terrible movie. Remember the first time? Well, I'll say, we were really scared. Gotcha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, sissy, I, I just don't sneak up on me like that. It's just that I wish Roger wasn't away on a business trip, especially on a night like this. So do I. Well, well, uh, let's, um, let's turn on the lights and go to bed. <laughs> What was that? It was a potato chip. It sounded like a footstep. <laughs> there he goes again. Oh. Carol, let's stay up till it gets light. Oh, Chrissy, that's ridiculous. We're not children. Now, I'm going to go into the kitchen for a moment, and then we'll go right to bed, okay? Okay. I don't want to hear any more talk about being scared, okay? Okay, Carol. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, walk me into the kitchen. <laughs> kidding, it's dark in there. Okay. Okay. I'll go in by myself. I'll, I'll walk. See, Carol walk to the door. <laughs> See the door? See, Carol walk in. <laughs> What's that for? Just in case. Just in case what? Just in case we want breakfast in bed. It's a weapon, dum-dum. <laughs> Chris, uh, did the, uh, did the, did the, did the lights just dim then? Uh-huh. Oh, I was hoping maybe it was my eyesight. <laughs> Carol, they may all go out any minute. Yes, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's keep uh, practical and cool. Do, 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 do we have a, <laughs> do we have a flashlight? No, but I know where there's some candles. Oh, good, where? In the cellar. Forget it. <laughs> At least we know where they are. <laughs> Carol, let's call the police. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> what do we tell them? Tell them the truth. We're scared. No, that won't work. I'll tell them we're lonesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> the phone is dead. <laughs> sure. Oh, yes, uh -huh. yes, I'm sure. There's no dial tone. <laughs> listen, listen to the no dial tone. Hear the no dial tone. <laughs> There's no dial tone! <laughs> Bumpity bump sound. That's my heart. <laughs> Let's not panic. The storm just knocked out the phone service. That's all. That's all. Carol, you don't think maybe somebody ripped out the phone wires, do you? I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> Come on. I wish Roger was here. Yeah, well, I tell you what, sissy, why don't you sleep with me tonight if you're scared? No, I'll sleep You'll with You'll sleep own. with me. <laughs> Just go right in, Mr. Stanley. Are you sure it's all right, Bradford? Yeah, it's all right, Mr. Stanley, but I wish you'd hold your voice down. Carol's not expecting me back till tomorrow. I don't, Shh. I don't want to wake her. It's awful nice of you to let me sleep over, Bradford. It's all right. I would want you to drive home at this time of night. Don't be ashamed to say it, Bradford. You drink, I've had too much to think. <laughs> Come over here, will you? Mr. Stanley, sit down. I'll make you some coffee. You're a great pal, Bradford. And an old man needs a great pal because that's what great pals are for, you know? That's very well said, sir. <laughs> I thought so. What's the matter? Where's my toothbrush, Bradford? Probably in your suitcase in the car. I'll get it. I'll make you some coffee. Ah. Uh... <laughs> That's sweet, Bradford. I love that boy.
Did you hear it? No. So did I. <laughs> you wait here, I'll go check. Alone? Of course not. Come on. The door's open. He's in the kitchen. Let's get out. There's another one coming back with a burglar kit. <laughs> Close by. <laughs> Boy, in my head. Maybe, maybe you have a hangover. Don't be ridiculous, Bradford. You don't get hangovers in the middle of a drunk. <laughs> well, you sit right here. I'll go get you some aspirin. It is a little. Well, how did that happen, do you suppose? You probably fell. Well, I'm going to go on the wagon. That's the first time I've ever fell while I was lying down. You're falling. Yes. Where's your aspirin? Where's the water? In the kitchen. Good. Awesome. I'll go get a bandage for your head. Ah, oh, you're too good to me, Bradford. Not at all. No, really, you're too good to me. Not at all. Have it your way. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that settles it. I'm going to take the pledge. Mr. Stanley, now what happened? Roger, is that you? Carol, where are you? In the kitchen. 